gave you too much, now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow What you do And it been so excited to film this look. I'm so jealous of everyone who was at Coachella last weekend. It's on my bucket list to do. Hopefully I can go next year. That would be amazing. There's also a second weekend of Coachella coming up so I thought I would create this look if you were going to Coachella or if you're going to a festival or if you're going to a party or pretty much any time that you want to wear this makeup look. I think it's so beautiful. I absolutely love the glitter. I'm in love with the glitter and I love the little designs with the white. I've seen that's been really popular so I thought I would try it out myself. I'm really happy with the way this makeup look turned out. I love all the bronzy glowy look to the skin and there's a beautiful copper pigment on the eyes and just really beautiful nude glittery looking lips as well. If you've been spamming everyone's Coachella pics like I have, I've seen this hairstyle has been quite popular. With the little space buns on top and I also did a couple of little braids throughout my hair so I thought this was a really fun festival vibe hair look to do. So I think I might just get straight into it. If you guys would like to see how to achieve this Coachella festival makeup look, then please keep watching. Starting with the skin today, I'm first applying this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This just has the most beautiful luminous glow to it and I'm just massaging that all over the skin with my fingers. Now I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light and just applying that to the high points of the face just to give a really beautiful light gold glow to the skin. I really love how this product looks. For my foundation today, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm mixing in some of the Tarcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil just to give a really luminous glow to the skin. This look today is all about beautiful, glowing, hydrated looking skin. I really love mixing in the Tarcha Beauty Oil with foundation. I just find it shears it out a little bit and it just gives such an amazing glow to the skin. And the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is a waterproof formula, so it's really good for humidity and if you're going to be out in the sun all day at a festival or a party, this is a really great foundation to use. I'm just blending that in all over the face with a damp beauty blender. I find this just makes the skin look more dewy and radiant. To conceal under my eyes and down the center of the face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. This has been my holy grail concealer for such a long time now. I absolutely love the coverage. It's a really full coverage, but the formula is really lightweight and I just find it blends into the skin beautifully. And my favorite way to blend out concealer is with a damp beauty blender. I just find it absorbs the extra product, so that way the concealer doesn't look too heavy on the skin and looks more natural. I'm going to do some cream contouring today for this look with the new Benefit Pull Up Quickie Contour Stick. I'm applying that on the hollows of my cheekbones, along the forehead, temples, and also along my jawline. I'm also going to use this stick to contour down the sides of my nose. I'm also going to blend that out with my Dap Beauty Blender and this just gives a really natural contoured look to the skin. Let me 
Now I'm taking some of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade of Moonlight and I'm going to apply that to the tops of the cheekbones, above the brows, down at the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin and then I'm going to blend those out with my damp beauty blender. Today's look is all about highlighted and bronze skin so I'm going in with this liquid illuminator first and then I'm going to apply a powder highlight over the top. To set the concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and apply that with a damp beauty blender to bake under the eye area. I'm also going to apply some to the corners of the mouth because I find I tend to get some creasing in these areas. Once I've let that bake for a few minutes, I'm just taking a MAC 129 powder brush and just dusting away the excess powder to leave a beautiful flawless look to the skin. I'm picking up this ColourPop Times Alexis Ren Bronzer and Highlight Palette in the shade Topaz and I'm applying that to bronze my cheeks with a MAC 168 angle brush. This is just going to set on top of the contour and just add a beautiful warm bronzed glow look to the skin. I'm also going to apply that to the temples and along the forehead to add more warmth to the skin as well. I'm picking up the Benefit Haul Up Bronzing Powder to contour on a small matte contour brush. I'm just applying that in the hollows of the cheekbones, around the temples and forehead as well. I'm also taking that Haul Up Bronzer on a MAC 224 blending brush to set the contour along the sides of my nose. For blush, I'm using the new Benefit California Blush. This is so beautiful, it's a peachy pink shade with a gold shimmer through it and I'm applying that to the apples of the cheeks with a MAC 137 brush. Over top of the liquid illuminator, I'm using this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Gold Digger and applying that to the tops of the cheekbones, above the brows, down the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, cupid's bow and chin. This is such a beautiful light gold highlight shade. On top of that highlight, I'm also applying this holographic pink shade called Pink Opal from the Kat Von D Alchemist Highlight Palette on the tops of the cheekbones for a pretty pink highlighted look. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in the shade Medium Brown on the angle brush that comes with the kit to outline and then fill in my brows. I love that this brow mousse is waterproof so my brows will stay on through the heat and humidity of an outdoor festival or party. For the eye look, I'm first using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and picking up the shade Burnt Orange on a Morphe M441 brush and blending that along the upper crease area and up towards the brows on the inner corners of the eye and further out on the outer corners for a really blown out smoky eye look. Taking that same colour on a smaller MAC 221 blending brush and blending that along the lower lash line. Now going into the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette, I'm picking up the orange shade called Citrine and blending that more densely in the crease with a MAC 217 brush. I'm going for an orange copper look to the eyes, so this colour is perfect in the crease. Mm. 
I'm also blending that colour along the lower lash line, bringing it down quite low to match the blown out look on the top of the eyes. Going back into the Anastasia palette, I'm taking this red orange shade called Realgar on the same MAC 221 brush. I'm darkening up the crease some more with this colour. I'm blending that same colour along the lower lash line as well. Picking up this dark brown shade called Cypress Umber from the Anastasia palette on a Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm applying that directly to the outer corners and blending it out with the Anastasia blending brush that comes in the palette. I wanted to add a bit more dimension and depth to the look with this colour. I'm then applying that same colour just to the outer third of the lower lash line. Taking the shade Realgar again on my Morphe brush, I'm adding some more of the red-orange shade back into the crease. Using this MAC Coal Eyeliner shade called Teddy, I'm applying that to the waterline. This is a beautiful rich brown colour with flecks of gold. For the lid, I'm using this Napoleon Purtis Loose Shimmer Eye Dust in the shade Copper Element. I'm pressing that onto the lid with a MAC 239 shader brush. I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus, which gives the pigment a more foiled look. I'm applying that to the lower lash line in the centre to add some more shimmer as well. To highlight the inner corners of the eyes and brow bone, I'm using the pink opal shade once again from the Kat Von D highlight palette. I really love how this pink shade looked and complements the colour on the cheekbones. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara on my top and lower lashes, so my mascara won't smudge or run in the humidity and heat. For lashes, I'm using these Huda Beauty lashes in the style Samantha. I love these lashes, they are a beautiful, thick, and long and wispy lashes. For the lips, I'm first applying this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Stripped, which is a beautiful soft pink nude colour. On top, I'm applying the Jouer Lip Topper in the shade Skinny Dip. This gives a beautiful gold shimmer look to the lips and is perfect for a festival look. Taking this Stiller Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in the colour Gold Goddess, I'm pressing this on top of the cheekbones up onto the temples to give a textured gold glitter look. And what festival look is complete without adding glitter? So I'm first applying some Lip Cosmetics Glitter Glue Adhesive, then mixing Violet Voss Golden Fairy Glitter with Lip Cosmetics Mr. T and Sher to make a gold and silver cocktail. And I'm pressing that on the top of the cheeks, up around onto the temples. I love how this turned out with the different size and textures of the glitter, creating a disco ball look on the cheeks. Using this Lime Crime White Liquid Liner, I'm going to add some Tribal Art, drawing a line down between the brows, four dots along the top of the brows, and also a line down the center of the bottom lip. I've seen this trend a lot from Coachella Looks this year, so I wanted to try it out, and I think it looks really cool, and it adds some extra glamour to the look. Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules. Taking the Copper Element Loose Pigment mixed with some Fix Plus, I'm creating a liquid liner to draw a line on either side of the white line with a MAC 210 Small Eyeliner Brush. 
I think using the copper colour really ties in the lips with the eye look. Spraying some Tarcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist all over my face to add some more glow and this makeup look is complete. Now no festival look is complete without adding some shimmer on the body so I'm using this Natasha Denona Body Glow in medium and rubbing that over my shoulders and along the collarbones. Then adding some of this MAC Times Mariah Carey Loose Shimmer Body Powder on top with a brush to create a beautiful bronzed shimmer look. I really love how this looks and it would be perfect to do for any look for a night out. So this is the final look. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I'm just so in love with this glitter. I just never want to take this makeup look off. It's so much fun. And it's a little bit of colour but nothing too full on and I just love the way the skin turned out and I love the little white details tribal look that it was that I created. I've seen that's been very popular with some Coachella looks so I wanted to try it out and yeah I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I have lots more videos coming for you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.